is good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are back again with a brand new wwe action figure surgery video for you guys i feel like it's been like forever which means that you know when we take a long break from surgery brad and i come back in and i use the trusty hair dryer and my fingertips just get obliterated so hopefully you know that won't happen here today but i have a pretty good feeling that yeah no these guys are going to get effed up here today so it's pretty saddening but we got some epic stuff to get us through the surgery day. You guys can see we got some brand new figures here. Jeff Hardy and Triple H from the two-pack that we just got. The new fan takeover Randy Orton. We got Elite 85 Cross over here. We got a Matt Hardy over there. I mean, we got some pretty good-ish brewing today and I'm very, very excited to get into it with you. Showcase what we got. Get into the switches and the swappages and see what the hell we got going on here today. So let's just shut the hell up and dive into it before I have a conniption. So let's start off first, guys, with the guy on the stretcher, which is going to be the two-pack Jeff Hardy. Now, we're not only only going to be doing the Jeff Hardy like we said. We are going to do the Triple H, but we're also going to be doing a pair of Hardys. We're going to do two Hardy Boys, and we're actually going to make four total Hardys. We're going to have two Matt and two Jeffs, not really relating to each other, just uh, just fixing up some here today. So the first one is the two-pack Jeff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head swap, or not head swap, but I am going to be removing this head and putting it over here on this Survivor Series Jeff. Now, I think that'll make for a pretty cool fix-up Jeff with this red-haired Jeff onto the Survivor Series body, but that's not all we're going to do. We also have some other things we're going to do. So once this head is removed, you guys know we'll have a mesh shirt, we'll have the black sleeve. We're going to remove the mesh shirt. We're going to put on this Jeff Hardy jersey or this Hardy Boys jersey, and that will look really badass, like the two-pack and tail. We'll keep the necklace on there. It'll be a great time. But also, we're going to pop this new custom Jeff head sculpt onto the body. Now, this is a head sculpt that I painted up yesterday. You guys can see this headband that I gave it. I also added the Hardy Boys logo right here to this headband, and then I painted it purple and green. That's just kind of a, you know, ties into the jersey right there, but I took this FYE 2-pack Jeff Hardy head sculpt, and I pretty much just added you know, uh, a bunch of colors. So you got the red, you got the green, the blonde, and the brown all tying in. The front of it kind of looks like garbage because the headband will be on there, so it won't even be seen, but putting this head sculpt onto that body with the jersey and then adding the headband should make for a really cool 01 style Hardy, you know, early 2000s Hardy, and I think it'll be really, really badass. So I'm really looking forward to that. I wish I could have gotten the whole paint job on surgery, but uh, this head sculpt should look badass on there with the headband. It should all tie together, and it should be pretty damn epic. So that is one thing that we will be doing here today. Anytime we do Jeff Hardy fix-ups, I mean, the world's just going round and round. So Jeff Hardy, Jersey, all the good-ish going over there. All right, next up, we have our Matt Hardy. Let's go ahead and get into Matt Hardy right here. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is this uh, team extreme hardy that i made forever ago or that i've had made forever ago it has this like v1 style mat head i'm gonna take this head off put the brood hardy's head sculpt over here i think that will make for a really cool fix up with the hair down in the face on this body like this team extreme custom mat here with the painted on shirt but this head sculpt from the ringside exclusive over here and then leave this headless remove this shirt put on the other hardy boys jersey add on these elbow pads to the elbows right here and then also put this necklace and this custom Matt Hardy. Now, you're probably wondering, that's not a custom head sculpt. Well, it's the other uh, half of that FYE 2-pack, right? We had the FYE 2-pack. This is what the head sculpts look like. I took the one that had, you know, I had the chin strap on there. Well, I did a lot of things to it, man. I acetoned off the chin strap. I painted on his, like, mutton chops look. I gave him a little bit of a goatee here. I even uh, repainted the hairline. I can, I can show you guys what it looked like before. And this is pretty much what it looked like beforehand. So this is what it looked like beforehand. You guys can see we repainted the hairline, repainted the facial hair, and if you guys have noticed, I kind of squished the head a little bit to give it that better Matt Hardy head shape. So I did a lot of stuff to this thing. Again, I hate that I couldn't get up that on camera, but putting this head sculpt onto this body with that jersey and everything, with the sleeves and the elbow pads, should make, again, for a really sick-ass Matt Hardy fix-up. So that is what we're going to be doing right there. So that will be all of our Hardy Boys fix-ups that we're going to do. So that should be absolutely epic. So I can get my necklace and my jersey and all this ish out of my face. And then moving on into the other things, we're going to fix up this Randy Orton. Now, where did the head sculpt go? Could have swore it was right here. Okay, it's right here. All right, so you guys know that the fan takeover Randy Orton, if you guys missed our review from yesterday, definitely go check out the Randy Orton fan takeover review as well as Johnny Gargano. You guys can notice that Johnny Gargano couldn't make it to surgery today because they actually gave him the right kick pads. He doesn't have Johnny Gargano syndrome, but this is my ex extra 
decade of domination head sculpt. You guys can see this Randy Orton's looking over to the right. I want him to look straight ahead, so I'm going to put on this head sculpt over here. I think that will make this figure look a little bit better, in my opinion. I think that will be a nice little fix-up right there. We're also going to be fixing up our two-pack Triple H. This is, uh, I have two of these, so I figure why not make one of them the WrestleMania 17 version of Triple H, and we're going to add this knee brace over there. Should be pretty nice to give it a more updated, not updated, it's, it's like literally 20 years old, but WrestleMania 17, this should be great from his match from Undertaker. We'll fix up our Triple H, and then last but not least, and something that is actually going to cause our carrying cross to shrink a little, we're going to switch out his lower legs because he has these massive long calves right here. I'm going to switch him out for these Neville calves. Now, I know they're going to make him too short as far as like his height. He's supposed to be 6'4", but he actually, if you look at his height compared to this Randy Orton, I think Randy Orton is what, 6'4", right? Or 6'5", and and yeah, I mean, pretty much he's going to be too short, but I don't know. I don't like the long calves. It looks very odd to me, and I'm not really feeling it. And if it bothers me enough, I'll just switch it back. You know, it's not the biggest deal, but let's shut the hell up and dive into what we got to get into. Guys, I got the trusty white hair dryer right here. Should be a good day of surgery. Let's dive into this ish. So actually, our first order of business, guys, is going to just be the Triple H. This should not require really anything much. I mean, all you got to do is slide on the knee brace right here. I want to say it's his right leg. I'm pretty sure it's his right right leg it actually may be his left leg let's let's google it real quick before i embarrass myself in front of god and everybody all right so it is the right knee i think I, i'm still on the fence but i'm pretty sure it is all right i don't like the way that's going on there it i don't really think it matters that much but i was gonna put the tegan knox knee brace on here but then i realized that the tegan knox knee brace on the right knee is silver and i'm just gonna roll with that i don't think that's a big issue right there now we can add that up on the triple h shelf and he'll be looking great and dandy and accurate to WrestleMania 17, so that's not going to bother me none, Brad. Let's get into the other stuff. We got the Randy Orton. Got to get the head sculpt off, so we're going to heat this up. It wasn't interchangeable, but we do not have to heat up our interchangeable head sculpt, so that is good news right there. What else do we have to do? We got to switch out some other things. We got to heat up some head sculpts now. All right, what makes me nervous about this Matt Hardy right here is the necklace. Now, I'm going to remove this t-shirt. Again, if you, if you do cloth accessories, man, remove them if you're going to put them in front of the hair dryer so you don't F it all up, man. It's just something that you don't want to do. We'll put this into our cloth bin over there or whatever and uh, hopefully we can heat this up at the same time with no issues right there. Next up, what do we got? Now again, we don't have to really heat up this Matt Hardy because this head actually pops off. I don't think we have to do anything with that but we do have to heat up our other Jeff head, like our interchangeable Jeff head right there as well as our other two Jeffs. So again, with our mesh t-shirt, especially with this mesh t-shirt, another thing that's scares me is the necklaces. I wish you could remove those without having to, you know, heat up the head sculpt because it's scary, man. Like, you know how, like, n like thin they get and fragile? You just don't want to, like, mess something up there. But, all right, taking the mesh shirt off, maybe we can find a good way to use this mesh shirt in the future for a Jeff fix-up or something. I'm sure we could do something or we'll figure that out for sure. But we're going to have to heat up this Jeff head as well as the Matt head and the other one. And we have to heat up this Jeff head. So, this this is actually going to be very scary, and we'll do carry and cross at the end, but this is very scary, again, because newer head sculpts, you guys know they have a smaller, like, you know, the peg hole in the head sculpt is super small, and you could easily F it up. Another head sculpt that has to be heated up. So, geez, bro. I'm putting that one in the back. All right, I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and hit it. We'll get the white trusty hair dryer in position, and hopefully we can heat everything up without ruining anything or anything like that. I'm going to try and take it as, as slow as possible. But we also are working on a time crunch a little. Let's just shut the hell up and get started. All right, guys, here we go. Pretty scary stuff. Don't know how well it's going to go. Okay, Survivor Series Jeff, one of my favorite head sculpts, actually came off pretty good. Let's go on to the two pack head. Okay, we actually got it. Oh, God. All right, 
we got that on there. We can take a closer look at that, Jeff, at the end. All right, this necklace actually popped off. We're going to have to slowly secure it right here. Very slowly put that on and hold that on there. You don't want to stress it too much. Let's see if we can get this FYE head sculpt on here. Got that. We can move on from that. Let's go over to the Matt Hardy. Let's see if we can get this off. Oh, God in heaven, man. That ish is rough, man. That's what happens when you take days off, bro. All right, let's plop this head sculpt onto this. Bam, got that. Now, come over here to this. Plop this Matt Hardy off. Go over here to this head sculpt. Now, this should look pretty banger if we can get this on here, The All right, we'll take a closer look at that Matt at the end. And last but not least, we have Randall Keith. Oh, God, that hurt me a little. All right. That came off pretty nice, and now all we have to do is plop on the Decade of Domination head, and is that it? All right, I think I think that's it. Okay, sweet. All right, we're not done yet, though, Brad. Not done yet, Bradley. Now, we're going to take our one Matt Hardy, and we're going to plop these elbow pads on first. Uh, I, can I don't know, like, why, but I can never get these bitches on right. Like, I always put them on backwards or something. Like, every time, it never fails. It never fails. I can never put these on correctly. I bet I'm putting them on wrong again, but Matt Hardy used to, uh, you know, wear the, the elbow pads like this, so we're gonna put this on right here. I don't know why this figure doesn't even have them. Maybe he wasn't rocking them just yet. Again, probably putting them on wrong. I'm gonna plop this hand out real quick, so this is actually easier to go on. Does it go like this or like this? I, why can't I ever tell, man? I don't, I don't know. Is there an easy way to tell? Can somebody let me know? A million surgeries in, and I can't figure out which way the damn elbow pads go. I usually don't even use elbow pads, but since this guy is gonna be on the split, mostly it's not that big of a deal that's what you get all right plopping the hand back in there and then now all we have to do is plop on the jersey and we will see this guy at the end should be pretty damn dope and bam all right guys we'll take a closer look at that matt hardy at the end but that is not all i actually forgot to oh my god i forgot to put the damn necklace on this mat yeah. Well, forget that. All right, next up, we're going to plop this jersey onto our other Jeff. Look at the nostalgia, bro. The nostalgia is just beautiful flowing right now. Excellent necklace, head, jersey, head band. Now, pretty damn fire, Brad. Pretty damn fire. We'll take a closer look at that at the end. You know, I feel like we haven't really done much, and we have like six fix-ups already done, so pretty damn good day. All right, guys, the last order of business is going to be the carrying cross. Now, what we're going to do over here is we are going to remove Remove the jacket. Again, remove all your accessories when doing the heat, man. There's no point in doing all that. You just you just screw up royally if you do that. But the one thing that'll be cool about this cross is that uh, we don't have to switch out the kick pads or anything, man. We just gotta do a lower leg swap straight up because these kick pads are plain black. You guys can see they're all plain black. So the only thing we're gonna fix is how long the lower legs are. So it should be a rel relatively simple fix. But, you know, nothing simple on action figure surgery, as we've learned through the 60-something-odd episodes. All right, guys, here we go. Moment of truth. Let's see if we can get it going. Not looking forward to this. You guys know how... <laughs> You've already started, haven't you, you piece of shish? All right, all right, ah! Okay, got that, got that. This one, this side, this, this side. This side should be easier, cause it's closer to the heat. Okay, oh God. All right, got that. Dude, that kick pad is just crazy. Holy God in heaven almighty. Is that in? I think it's in. I don't even know at this juncture. All right, other side, plopsy dopsy. Who's hyped for Finn versus Cross in like a few days? Holy, holy, holy moly. Did I get that? Woo! Woo! That's experience, baby. That's experience. We got it. They're loosey-goosey. I'll let them cool off, and I'll see you guys in the next segment where we break down all the BS that we did today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. All right, guys, here is everything that we did today on Action Figure Surgery. I'm liking the lineup, man. I think everything turned out just about like I thought it would. I think everything looks pretty damn good. The only thing I'd say is maybe Karrion Cross being a little bit too short here. Uh, not the biggest deal in the world. Like him with Finn Balor, like on 
on screen. Um, he's a little bit taller than Finn, and then in figure form, let's see. I mean, I don't know. You guys can be the judges of that. I mean, I think it's pretty, it's still pretty damn accurate. I mean, maybe other people are a little bit too tall, maybe in reference, but none of these guys are short. It's not like, you know, Jeff Hardy's 6'1", I think Matt's 6'1", 6'2", Randy Orton's 6'4", plus, Triple H 6'4", plus. I mean, it's it's not the biggest deal, I guess, but he is shorter than all of those guys now, so I don't know. Nonetheless, I like the way this looks much better than the tall kick pads, or the tall, like, lower legs, so I don't know. I don't really have an issue with it. <laughs> I think it looks pretty solid. Next up, we got Triple H. Nothing that much added, just a knee brace to make it accurate to WrestleMania 17. We have a Randy Orton where the head sculpt looks pretty damn good. I like that it's looking straight ahead instead of off to the right where it gets like misaligned. This looks better to me. Will look better on the shelf so that makes me happy right there. And then our uh, our big main events here I guess would be our two Hardy Boys. Now we have this one. I did forget the necklace but I love the way this looks. I think this head sculpt's more accurate. It looks better than the V1 style head sculpt. And then we have the two pack head Jeff on the uh, Survivor Series body. I still like this. I think it looks pretty damn good. Again not you know nothing too immaculate but it is a cool little fix up. Jeff Hardy fix up you guys know that I love them. It's the reason that I got that like endless Jeff Hardy shelf over there. So this makes me happy in itself. Gotta love Jeff Hardy's and Matt Hardy figures. Taking us into our last two in the jerseys. And these two look absolutely great. I'm really happy with the way these came out. Head sculpts look great. We did add some paint, some custom and stuff going on right there to give it more accuracy and just, you know, make it go around. Jerseys look bomb. Necklaces look bomb. Head sculpts look bomb. So <clears throat> I don't have any issues. I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say, man. I think it looks pretty damn badass. I, I like both the way Jeff and Matt look down in the comments section. You guys can let me know, but overall thoughts on everything we did here today was a success. I don't have any problems with it. I think it all turned out fantastic, terrific. Yes, Uncle Remus, I know the catfish are huge. Before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout-out. It's going to go to Papa.Sayo or Sa 10 or O, or whatever, Papa Salo, or... He says, I wish we would have gotten a second head scan for Orton, one with a smirk, since it went well with his character at the time. And that is true, man. Orton was always doing that cocky smirk, and I think it would have been great to get a Legend Killer head sculpt with that. Maybe we can get that later down the line. Hopefully that will be the case, but... Overall, huge shout out to Papa for that one. Really appreciate you, bro. But that does it for our surgery video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you guys thought of everything down in the comment section below. Thank you for stopping by. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at My Damn Toys. And uh, don't cross the line. Looks weird. Don't cross it. Don't cross it. You cross the line. I've been